Hello everyone. I, Dr. Akash Singh Pawar, Professor, Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Sage University, Indore, welcomes you in the lecture of biopharmaceutics. Today, we are going to discuss what is basically biopharmaceutics. What are the factors which are related with biopharmaceutics and how the different factors will affect the biopharmaceutical prospectus. So let's start our video with a little introduction of biopharmaceutics. What is biopharmaceutics? Biopharmaceutics is, uh, if you see the word that biopharmaceutics, then it is comprises of two words. First one is bio and second one is pharmaceutics. Bio means here bio refers for life and pharmaceutics is a science science of uh, that is pharmaceutical science uh, that comes under pharmaceutical science so bio refers for life and pharmaceutics is conversion of chemicals into doses forms that is called pharmaceutics so a system a uh, subject which covers the effect of doses forms in, on life is called as our biopharmaceutics. Now, if we see, there are so many relationships of various factors which are affecting our biopharmaceutics. First one, route of drug administration. Second one, drug, physicochemical property, bioavailability, and doses form. What are these factors and how they affect the biopharmaceutics? So first one is route of drug administration. Route of drug administration means the route by which a drug can enter into the body is called route of drug administrations like oral, parenteral, topical, transdermal, ophthalmic, rectal, etc. So these are the routes by which we can enter the drug into our system or body. Now, what is drug? Drug, a substance, a chemical substance which provides treatment, cure, diagnosis or wellness, which is used for the treatment, cure, diagnosis or wellness. It is called as drug. What is doses form? There are various forms of uh, drug uh, in which we can uh, enter the drug into the body uh, like in solid, like in liquid, like semi-solid and gaseous. So these are called as doses forms. Now, next one is physicochemical property. What is physicochemical property? Physicochemical properties are the properties of the drug substances by which it's because of its physical and chemical nature, the certain properties of uh, drug substances which can affect the systemic circulation or systemic effect of the drug that covers under physicochemical properties. Now, next one is bioavailability. Bioavailability is available amount to biological system is known as bioavailability. So, these are some factors which can affect the drug and its biopharmaceutical prospectives. So let's discuss our first prospective that is drug. What is drug? Drug is a chemical substance as we have seen in the previous slide that a pre, uh, substance which provides treatment, cure, prevention or diagnosis. Now, what is the meaning of treatment? Treatment means when we are suffering from a disease and a therapy is involved when we provide a chemical substance and the disease is cured, then it is called treatment. The process of cure is called treatment. And what is cure? Cure means when the disease is completely removed, then it is called cure. What is prevention? Prevention means 
as we have seen latestly by uh, means of our uh, vaccination that we are preventing our self by means of vaccination from a virus so that's why that vaccination comes under prevention before occurring of disease we are taking that medication so that we can be safe from that disease now which can be used the chemicals which can be used for diagnosis for the diagnosis of the diseases there are so many dyes which are which can be used for the diagnosis of the diseases they are also comes under the category of drugs now enhancement of physical or mental well being now what is the meaning of physical and mental well being physical and mental well being is basically a system in which we enhances the physical and mental strength of a person if a person is suffering from some mental disorder then it must need some medication and all the medication all the uh, substances or the chemical substances which are given to that patient for the all the chemical substances which are given to the patient for the well being of that particular disease or from the cure of that particular disease that are called as mental well being like in the case of schizophrenia like in the case of mental disorder as uh, there are so many mental disorders which are which can be treated by substances now the case of nutritional supplements what are nutritional supplements nutritional supplements are basically not drugs the essential part of our food material but they are the essential part of our food material but they are not drugs so they are comes under the category of nutritional supplements